Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we started off in the Trip Trap where we believed uh, Woody, Woody, the Woodsman was, well they called him Woody, but we were given quite the cold shoulder from both the bartender, uh, I forgot her name, uh, her name escapes me at the moment, and Gren, uh, who was one of the um, customers saying, oh, they don't know who, who Woody is, where he is, whatever. And we were, we were trying to be nice. We were trying to be extremely civil. After a little while, the woodsman just comes out of the bathroom. He sees us, and he just, he's just defeated. So we start acting civil, talking with him, and when it comes out that, um, you know, we're there because of Faith, because she's dead, he immediately freaks out and, you know, claims he didn't do it and that he was in the bar at Trip Trap at the time, even though we never told him when she died. Um, and that basically causes a stir when uh, Grendel gets up and changes form into what he really is and starts beating the shit out of us. We eventually give in to instinct and turn into the big bad wolf and put him down but we chose to walk away before we could do any real damage to him and right then and there Tweedledee walks in the door <laughs> um, and then we have we have a choice to make uh, either follow either capture the woodsman or Tweedledee who both started to run away we went after Tweedledee because I believe that he is he knows more than he's letting on. He's more guilty in, in this than the woodsman is. That's how I see it. Just as we were taking him out, we found, or just as we got to the Woodland Heights, uh, or the building wherever we live, we find that there's a lot of police activity there. And we find out that Snow White's head has been left on the front steps. And that's where the chapter ended. And now we are on to chapter two, Smoke and Mirrors, or Episode 2. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big V, before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big V. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no. I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woods need to shake the hand. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much.
You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Traumatized, probably. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm pissed off. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't, you don't know, know who anything. Did. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... do to her what did you do to her she'll be fine it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up M maybe grab the evidence I hope Crane had a good massage. <clears throat> Thanks for the bailout. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. That's fine, but we should still, you know, interrogate him. We should, we should question him. 
Like, we found him at the at a fucking crime scene. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. Amen. But we still got two murders and a few many bunch days. more episodes we to go. We don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. It's coming out of your salary. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Bigby. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. Have to find some place to cool off. I'm not fucking around here, D. Alright, D. Let's get to know each other. You know, I really like spending time with you, Bigby. You're so pleasant. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? 
No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. It's moving along. At an idle pace. It'll take as long... You just carry this around? Always handy that way. Offer him a drink. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. How about a little bit of cigar? Are you... I'm saving that. Offer it to him. Here. Yeah, all right. Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> this is ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. What's next, baby? You're gonna give him a massage? Offer him a nice steak dinner? Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. This is working. Like hell it is. You think you're getting results? That's enough from you, Bluebeard. We're getting him to talk. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. I should be leading the interrogation. We can't have that. Why not? You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I better get that back. Uh, I'll put it down. Up. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Let him talk. Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Oh, we're getting a lot of dead. answers. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Back off, uh. Bluebeard. Uh. Oh, that was close. Uh, 
snow. What's going on down here? Oh shit. Snow. Dun dun dun. skip the intro. Oh. Apparently I cannot skip the intro. So how crazy is that? As much as like, my jaw dropped when I first saw Snow's head, my I was like, I actually jumped out of my seat when I first saw Snow White like walk in the room. I was like, I need a minute. It's so crazy, right? What a mystery, eh? What the fuck is going on? And unfortunately, we're gonna have to stop it there. <laughs> um, first, what is it? Like 15, 20 minutes of the episode. And already, like, another huge fucking twist. Like, we ended the last episode on a huge twist. And this is an even bigger twist. What the fuck is going on? It's crazy, right? It This story is so convoluted. It's going all over the place. But I promise you, it gets so good. It's all... It's worth it. Like, all the shit that's going down, it's so fucking good. Like, the revelations, the, the, the climax like how this game ends it's so fucking good i promise you <laughs> like i can't stop i can't stop smiling about it this game is is that good i love this game that much anyways i'm rambling again um thank you all so much for watching guys i really hope you're having a good time watching and i'll see you in the next one take care